What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a video on a KVM switch. Yes, you heard that right. And yes, I know they've been around for a long time and well, what's really to talk about them? Well, have you seen one quite like this? Oy. I sure haven't. So let's take a look. So before we get into this big box, I want to thank Tesmart or Tsmart, not real sure how to pronounce the name of the company, but a big KVM switch company. So definitely check out their site. I'll have a link to it in the description below, but they have tons of product offerings for KVM switches. This one happens to be their big bad boy that I requested because as you guys can see, I have three monitors that I use. And this one specifically is for a triple monitor type KVM switch. So it was kind of fit my particular needs. So anyway, let's get into it and see what we got in this giant box and talk about all that comes along with the product itself. This is a heck of a package, that's for sure. All right, so we got, it looks like uh, the user manual right up here up front. So kind of just tell you how to set everything up and it is actually nice and has color on it. So a very, a very well written, nice looking manual. Tells you how to get everything set up. And this one specifically, as we can see here, is for a four times PC or three monitors KVM switch. So a very beefy, very capable KVM switch. All right, here is looks like the switch itself. And speaking of a switch, it really honestly reminds me is like its construction reminds me of like a network switch. It is quite large. So here is the front of the switch. So we've got right up front here, some USB connectivity, uh, USB-C and 3.1, as well as an audio jack. The switching buttons for going between your various displays or PCs that you need to be switching to. Again, we'll get into that as I familiarize myself with how to use the product itself. Looks like a big old hunky power switch up front as well. And then in the back is more of the business end of things. So we've got up to four different machines that we can connect display to. So like I said, it's a four times three, up to three monitor switcher so pretty pretty beefy stuff here so let's see what else is in the box here so I'm gonna just kind of move that off to the side for now and I believe this is uh, all the yeah it's all the display cables that it comes with so they provide you with a ton of stuff here so we got look at all these displays okay these are all HDMI tons of them <laughs> basically to be able to cover you as the user for the product and there is another box of them here that is one thing about this is it is completely native hdmi but we're talking about some i think higher standard hdmi where we can run hopefully my, my hope is higher frame rate so i have 144 hertz main monitor so that way we can get everything running at the proper resolution and speeds that is one feature here we'll talk about a little bit is they do provide a remote control even. So if this is the plugin for that. So you can actually remotely control, meaning just like a like a TV remote. For clothes that twist and long at bold three detergent plus fabrics on uh, the different display options instead of actually having to push the buttons on the side. So that's a pretty neat option. It may not be something I am going to be using my for my particular use case but if uh if it's something that you would need then go for it this looks like like a rack mount kit almost i'll, I'll open that up and take a look yeah i think it is i didn't even realize that all right so there's that remote we were talking about wrapped in plastic and the basic power to plug into your power outlet on your wall but i'm interested here in this i think this is actually it looks like ears that you would rack, uh, use to rack a, a server or like a network switch or something. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty wild. So if there is a use case where you need to actually mount this to a rack, which I don't have one, um, maybe one day I'll get a small one that sits behind me, but this is what you would do with this is you would uh, essentially mount that onto the side so you can mount it into a traditional data rack or like an IDF, MDF closet, etc. Obviously that is well beyond what we need this for. I'm hoping to just have this sitting on my desk and to be able to control everything that way. So I wanna show you guys what I'm setting out to accomplish being that I want to be able to control all three of my monitors here that we have off to my right. I wanna be able to control my work laptop as well as the main editing and gaming rig behind me, all with very simple control, which is what a KVM switch is designed for. So let me show you that real quick, just to give you an idea of what I'm dealing with, and then let's get everything buttoned up on the switch itself, get some cables cleaned up, because I got quite a mess going on right now, and really show you the power and the use case of a KVM switch when it comes to a, I would say more than just your normal user setup here that I have here in my studio. All right, so like I mentioned guys, I'm just giving you a quick overview of what I'm dealing with. 
So I've got three monitors here that plug into the main gaming and editing and PC kind of general purpose PC Tech Hustle PC, I guess we'll call it. That's the main rig. But anyway, that's fine and dandy if that's all I've plugged in. But I also work from home with my job, so I've got to use my laptop. And I obviously don't want to... I want to use these monitors because I already got a nice setup where I've got them mounted on my wall. But what that ends up doing to me here is I've got a lot of cable mess that I have to manage unplugging and plugging things in all the time. And it's getting extremely annoying. So as you can see, I have all the connections going into my docking station for my laptop. But then when I want to say maybe uh, go over to my PC at night, well, that means I have to come over here and unplug everything. And now, as you can see, like a lot of stuff's left dangling. It's a giant mess. So that is why the KVM switch has such a value prospect to it where I can actually control everything with just a click of a button and not have to worry about all of this cable mess. So without further ado, let's get this thing set up and see how much more of a quality of life increase it'll give me. Day two. Alrighty guys, new shirt, new day. Obviously, um, it took me a little bit of time to get through all my cable management mess that I have behind my monitors that you guys really can't see. That is the point, but ripping out all the cables that were connecting to my computer and then running those in a nice orderly fashion, as well as setting up my laptop, all that stuff took me quite some time. So we are on a new day and now we are back in order. And so let's talk about what we got going on here. So firstly, right up, as you guys can see, I've got my work laptop with its docking station and the KVM switch here on the right side. So I think it looks pretty clean. There are some cables visible. Unfortunately, that was just the nature of the way I chose to install it. Although pretty minimal, I'd say it looks still pretty darn good. But let's talk about some of the things we got going on here. So right now, you may be able to see it here on the switch. It's got the number one selection, and that is my gaming slash editing slash full-on content creation pc tech console headquarters pc here sitting right behind my head now this is all fine and dandy and as you guys can see i am using three monitors so it's very smooth feeling i've got no issues really dragging menus and everything across the screens so everything kind of just feels as it was before and that is great that's what i was looking for so if i just woke up and needed to basically jump into work well then i can simply just hit the number two which is my laptop and I've got it set up as well with the same kind of similar setup. Now, the only difference here is I'm dragging this menu across two different monitors because I actually am not using a third monitor. My docking station only supports two monitors. What I kind of wanted was more of like my main two production, you know, get work done style monitors here, one and two. And then if I wanted to say throw on like a podcast or a YouTube video, have something in my ear going while I'm working, this is the really cool feature of this KVM switch. So you can customize basically what monitors are showing per what is plugged in per what PC is running. So if I want to go over to my gaming PC real quick, throw up a YouTube video or, or whatever. So let's actually go back to switch one here. So say I am just wanting to have like a YouTube video, a podcast in my ear on this monitor here. We just got my channel up front right here right now. But let's say I, uh, you know, I want to listen to this video while I'm working. Okay. So now I flip back over to my work laptop where I'm doing day to day work tasks. Now, as you can see, the screen went black right? Because we switched over. I don't actually have a third display plugged in for that monitor for my laptop, but here's what I can do is I can flip back. I want to select monitor C and then I want to go to the selection of PC one. So now as we can see, my YouTube video is up. And since I do have a headset plugged in on that PC, I can actually just pop my headset on and listen to what's going on. And if I need to take like a work call, for example, where I don't want this buzzing or playing or making sound, even though I would be taking it from a different headset, etc., I can just flip back over to PC one. Say, okay, I, you know, I need this off for now. I need to really focus on something of particular importance. Just hit the pause, you know, turn it off, whatever. And then just quickly flip back to PC two, which is the work laptop. Other things to talk about that were also very important for me here, the KVM allows you to have very high throughput speeds in terms of refresh rate as well as resolution. So they advertise it as a 4K capable KVM, which I have no doubt it is capable of doing. But the big thing I really wanted was the ability to have 144 Hertz on this main monitor because when I am not using it for work, I like to game. I wanted to make sure I was able to retain that 
which this 100% can do. So I am running this monitor at 1440p resolution, 144 hertz. So basically that is the native specs of this monitor that I want to make sure that I retain because normally it would just be plugged directly into my gaming PC. The other two monitors are just productivity monitors that I don't really care so much about resolution and refresh rate. Those are just 60 hertz, 1080p monitors. And obviously that is nothing for the KVM to sweat about. It does that, no problem. But aside from my own personal use case, let's quickly just sum up the video here in terms of my final thoughts and maybe some things I'd like to see differently done with this KVM. So First and foremost, I am extremely happy with the product. It is doing exactly what I needed it to do. It has improved my quality of life in terms of being able to switch between multiple systems here as I work from home in my normal day job and then use my other home PC for doing gaming, content creation, etc. Being able to switch between those two things is massively simple now and that is what I was after. And to speak to that, obviously being a tech YouTuber and having all the tech gadgets here on my desk, my use case is different than some people and you may not need something like this big beefy KVM switch, you might need something more simple. So to address that as the elephant in the room, this KVM switch does come in at $550, normally $600. And I am also told with the rep I'm working with at T-Smart that this discount does apply through the month of June. So if it is something you're considering, you can save some money now. One thing I wanna point out though is the KVM switch, and it looks like all of their models only support HDMI as an input. Now, obviously HDMI has evolved over the years. That doesn't necessarily even make it bad. I think these cables, and again, I'm going to make sure and check with you guys and make sure I am completely right. These cables are HDMI 2.0, which basically allows you to kind of run almost at a level of more modern display ports. So it can handle the resolution. It can handle the frame rate. And as we talked about it over here, when I was explaining it on my setup, Everything worked out just fine. I'm getting everything I need out of it. Now, if you got a crazy high refresh rate monitor that's like 165 hertz plus or in the 200s, this KVM switch may not be for you. I don't even know if there's a KVM switch that really can do that, but just keep that in mind because it is limited in terms of refresh rate. So again, keep that in mind. Although. I think it's done pretty well in terms of making strides to be more applicable to gamers as well. Now, the one thing I wish it did have, because it does have the HDMI ports obviously, is display connectivity because with my use case and many use cases of modern graphics cards, most modern graphics cards only support generally one HDMI input output and the rest is display port. You might find a big, really extremely expensive one that does a lot of both, but most of them are just simply display port and have been for quite a long time. So what I ended up having to do is get some adapters these are hdmi to display adapters so i basically had to plug in the display side to my graphics card on my gaming pc and the hdmi side on the kvm switch but i think the only other caveat that i encountered was simply just the additional input output of usb on the back side of the kvm switch i don't really want to be plugging in a lot of stuff up front although yes on temporary circumstances that works fine which it does as i mentioned have a port there for but it only has three usb included on the back side of the kvm switch in total so two for the input output of the keyboard if you want to plug in keyboard shortcuts that are built into the firmware of the KVM switch, which I'm not using because I didn't really see the necessary factor for that for myself. But if that's something you want to use, you have to use those ports, which is okay. Uh, I get it because there's probably some type of ASIC built into that port that allows for that to happen. But then it's only got one additional leftover USB 3.0 port. So if you want to plug in anything like a camera or anything else, then you basically got to use a hub to extend some additional USB connectivity, which ended up working out fine for me is what I did. However, that is a limitation. I feel like it should be pretty reasonable considering you're spending $550 on a KVM switch to be able to put in some more USB connectivity, especially considering that this thing can handle up to four PCs and three monitors all at once. So to sum it all up, guys, I'd have to say, I, like I said, I'm extremely happy with the quality of life upgrades that this KVM switch has given me. Again, keep in mind, guys, this is their biggest, beefiest product that T-Smart does have to offer. They have much more reasonable offerings. If you don't have three monitors or four PCs to connect up, maybe it's just a couple laptops that you wanna connect up then it's going to be a lot more reasonable for you to get some of those products. I'll have links to those in the description below, but thanks for tuning into this one though, guys. I appreciate your time and I will catch you in the next one.